What is up? What's going on? I'm back. They call me Virus. Today we're going to play Journey to the Savage Planet. Go ahead and start with single player. Let's check this out. Let's see how it goes. Tweed, President and CEO of Kindred Aerospace. Thank you for joining the Pioneer Program. For almost 30 years, Kindred has been striving to help humanity expand beyond the confines of Earth. And I am excited to announce that many industry observers now consider us the fourth best interstellar <laughs> exploration fourth company. Best. From our humble beginnings, manufacturing batteries and solar arrays for use in extreme climates to our line of athletic footwear and chic survival apparel we have been continually striving to drive humanity further from the bottom of the oceans and now to the stars <laughs> this is so funny our next step is to move beyond pure exploration and into settlement which is why you are here our scientists have identified several planets that may be fit for human habitation. Yours is... ER-126. It's always a weird name. Your job is to explore the planet's surface, catalog its creatures, threats, and opportunities, and send your data back to our crack team of scientists here at Kindred for analysis. The more you discover, the more we'll be able to guide your experience and highlight objectives for you and your partner, if you have one. I should also mention that while every effort has been made to ensure a comfortable and safe journey, recent budget challenges plus the unknown natures of the obstacles you will face mean that we were unable to send you anything in the way of equipment. <laughs> what? Oh. But don't stress, however, as your habitat comes equipped with a 3D printer that is more than capable of turning any old space trash you discover into useful items. One minor note. All the fuel in your javelin was used in the journey from Earth and the landing on your planet. You will need to discover a local resource that you can refine into an appropriate fuel. Unless, of course, you decide to spend the rest of your life off Earth. <laughs> but I don't want to take up too much of your time, and I'm sure you're very excited to explore. This so I wish you good luck. Four. We will send updates on your progress as you complete your scheduled surveys. Stay alive and see you soon. See you soon. <sighs> wow, that was uh long term space travel is not for everyone. Side effects of long term space travel are uncommon but can include headache, nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, dizziness, dysentery, chest pain, varicose veins, bloody stools, feeling emptiness, or hopelessness, osteoarthritis, hemorrhoid, diabetes, forgetfulness, gender confusion, spontaneous dental prolapse, mild discomfort, or death. If you notice any of these symptoms, please contact your kindred representative as soon as possible, and all efforts will be made to help and or rescue you. Note that current rescue time exceeds six months. <laughs> Welcome. My name is Echo, and I'm here to help guide you on your mission. But first things first. Please log into the computer and fill out a teeny weeny questionnaire, if you don't mind, so we can make sure you're not crazy. Yeah. Too late. jobs is to continually assess your mental state wow. and as space sickness has been an issue for some other recent explorers could you please identify yourself from this gallery of faces i should definitely choose the dog <laughs> thank you i'm super glad you're not crazy Skip through that, check out the video. Hi, my name is Martin Tweed, President and CEO of Kindred Aerospace. Thank you for joining the Pioneer Program. No, we're not going to see through that again. 
and now you're ready to explore. Please walk downstairs and step into the teleporter while I will discombobulate you and then recombine you outside on this glorious new planet. That sounds fun. <clears throat> wow, this looks really familiar. So they respawn. Let's get out of here. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely like borderlands. Great. Clap trap, where you go? Now provide you with approximate locations of resources and important info. The javelin's pretty banged up, but you'll need to scan the exterior to confirm the level of bang up -edness. Do that now. Don't forget to continually scan your surroundings. The camera will transmit data back to Kindred HQ, which will send you blue... This exterior panel must have been knocked loose on landing. I am adding a location marker to your compass. Please find it and scan it. If you lose your way, you can always hit the survey button to highlight its location again. Alright, so I think that's it for the scanning. Fuel tanks are intact, but empty. If you can find a local fuel source, you'll be able to get back home. If you can't, congratulations, you're home already. <laughs> well, they got jokes. Ah, there is our missing panel. Well done. In the future, whenever you need help finding your currently selected objective, you can use survey to orient yourself. Let's go back. I'm sure I got this 
right. All right, we scanned that enough. Start scanning everything. <laughs> I go to for the 3D printer, my baba. Uh, oh, there it is. It's pretty easy. Now you've got a weapon, the single most important tool for any colonizer. Ah, so if I get more of those carbon atoms, I can upgrade the weapon. Uh, so what else do they have? 
Anything else? Alright, so the more stuff I can get, the more things I can upgrade. Let's take this out. Ambient temperature 81 degrees. Biosigns nominal. I don't have to shoot my way through most stuff. This fungazoid sports several spongy, porous pom pom pods. It may sound weird, but do you see a large tower looming above you? I only ask because my oh, wow. system appears to be functioning correctly, but our initial scan said there should be no sign of intelligent life here at all, and that appears to directly contradict this idea. I will contact your superiors immediately. One moment, please. Now that's metal. That thing you picked up looks disgusting and squishy. Bouncy. So there's stuff over here. I have received an urgent message regarding the tower from our president and CEO, which is available for your viewing pleasure at the habitat. Please return as soon as you have a moment. <laughs> here for right now so let me hit back let me go ahead and hit back Congratulations, leave no stone in turn. If the stone refuses to turn, smash it to pieces. Alright, let's check out the video. It might be more interesting. Hi! Here you've arrived on ARY26, and I've, uh, I've seen some of the preliminary data. 
And I have to tell you, we have a few questions. <laughs> well, as you know, every planet... Uh, no sign of intelligent life. The only thing is, your planet is, uh... Whoa. <laughs> wrong. Not wrong. Strange. Unusual. Um, I... We... We need to know what's inside that structure. Okay. Uh, how did our scanners miss it? Who built it? I need you to dig up everything you can. We are searching for a new home for humanity. After all. I need you to transmit this data directly to uh -oh. me. Okay? I've already updated your transfer protocols. This needs to be our little secret for now. This is not good already. Meat scraps, fat and gristle, finding its way to your... Oh boy, that had to be another funny video. Hello. Is this thing working? Sorry, buddy. Hey, hey, yeah, you. Hi, I apologize for the one-sided nature of this message, but, you know, communication across vast distances makes it impossible to do anything else. So, I hear you've arrived on ARY-26, and I've, uh, I've seen some of the preliminary data, and I have to tell you, we have a few questions. <laughs> well, as you know, every planet we initially surveyed showed uh, no sign of intelligent life. The only thing is, your planet... I've never seen that one. Meat scraps, fat, and gristle finding its way to your trash? What a waste! Or even worse, the toilet? Disgusting! Put a smile on your face using your meat waste <laughs> with Meat Buddy, the reconstituted cuddly companion from Slimo. Just take your animal-based waste products, rotten flesh, and laboratory-thrown proteins and simply toss in the hopper. Choose the number and type of appendages, and in just four short fly chips, your new best friend will emerge, ready to cuddle. Meat Buddy, the snugly <laughs> playmate from Slimo. Oh, uh, it's terrible. All right, it's time to head off to the big tower. Ambient temperature, 112 degrees, bio signs, nominal. Get rid of it and get more air on the carbon. Mixing that orange substance with your hooks. 
line may allow me to tweak its impact on your biology, nice. which would go. in turn allow you to be more attuned to the local climate. Long-term impacts are unknown, but ingestion is, of course, completely your decision. Please remain calm. I am monitoring your physical response. All is as predicted. I am adjusting your health and biofeedback to reflect your improved suitability to the uh, chemical mix. I salute there. your continued embrace of adventure. Right, let's look under here first and then come back to the uh, super. Let's do it over there later. Alright, it's another one. seems to respond to your energy signature. You won't get through unless you manage to disable its mechanism. A big lightning shock should do the trick. Let me see if the cartographers found anything useful that will allow you to upgrade your suit to do something similar to a lightning jolt. I'll update your compass if they found anything. Alright, so that's something we'll come back to. That upgrade would be very useful indeed. I have sent a request to Kindred, but we have yet to locate the required resources on this planet. Stay tuned. A plant with a taste for meat. Charming. Nasty looking hole. I wonder what's in it. Uh, I think I already know. I might see it soon. See that coming now, but send it down. So we got two. Good news is those things you ate made you way harder to kill. 
bad news is you're harder to kill because most of your bones have been replaced with rock hard space tumors. Good news, potential partners dig tumors. No. Or so I hear. <laughs> no. No. crazy over there. It's just totally different. Alright, uh let's head this way. Looks to be a plant that's anchored itself to the environment. If you have a grapple this is where you'd fire it. I'm working on a blueprint for you now. Thank you. Alright, this is not worth climbing right now. Alright, let's go back to the other side. Let's hope I don't fall down. Let's go to this one. So this is just help. Alright, so I'm back where I started. So it's nothing this way, so we kind of explored this whole area in the way. So let's go ahead and hurry up back. Definitely went that way though. What is that sound? Definitely something really big around here. This anthill is way bigger than the ones on Earth, but the ants are the same size. It thinks you're gonna kill it. Oh, how oh, 
Accurate. Yep. Oh, splints multiple things. Follow the marker and head to the uh, purple spot. What the heck is that? Oh yeah, I'm definitely getting bigger to wherever that is. to make the attempt the jump in front of you is beyond your current capabilities but fear not the cartographers have found a deposit of a rare fluid which could be used to synthesize the fuel for some basic jump thrusters please redirect your exploration efforts towards it So I gotta go to the javelin to get those printed, and I can unlock something. <laughs> what element, though? Yeah. All right. So okay, there's the yellow marker, so I can find it over here. Uh oh. That definitely did. That's a little secret area that we gotta come back to. So those two spaces we gotta find. That's secret nearby. Wonder where. Ah, it's up there, maybe. something nearby. I noticed when you're near a secret, there's like a little sound that plays, so it must be somewhere up there. <laughs> oh man, what 
what I needed. Just right there. I'm getting closer to where we're at. I'm trying to locate. Oh, found something. Okay, so even more good news. Those tumors that improved your stamina and replaced your bones? They've spread to the musculature of your lower body, which gives you rock hard glutes. You should be psyched. I thought that would be a bad job. Alright, this is not going anywhere, but.
Milwaukee's Micro Mills Plaza, the ultimate Earth Life Simulator. Create tiny human life forms by just adding sub-zero radioactive water to a micro life powder packet and see your mall's inhabitants grow in just minutes. Watch them stroll, shop, and live as they autonomously move throughout their very own shopping complex, completely unaware of your presence. Engage in fascinating <laughs> so examination of standard Earth activity or declare a Black Friday and send your shoppers into a violent bargain hunting frenzy where only the strong survive. <laughs> Mini Mall Monkey's Micro Mills Plaza comes with environmentally stabilized shopping mall bio chamber, three packets of powdered micro monkeys, and stirring stick from Lil Labs. Wow. <laughs> so I can say as well. Alright, let's go ahead and craft uh, weapon upgrades. Great synthesized. Alright, so I definitely need to increase the battery for that. Alright, I can't get that yet. These are all locked. locked. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy this quick episode. I'm going to save it here and I'll come back later and show you episode two. Peace.